Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and I promised that I would share how I did this insert uh, with the double tucks on the inside for this particular uh, Let It Rain journal. Um, so unless you saw that video, just to go through what it looks like when you open it up, there are tucks here, and then there are also tucks here. So I wanted to show how I did this with one single piece of 12 by 12 paper. And then for my uh, part here, this part that'll be on the inside, um, I have chosen to use uh, a jelly print and I'll show you that with a demonstration one. But I just wanted you to see the basic construction of this because it's so easy. Um, this one I did attach, but you can make this so it's removable. I just kind of like the option that it's in the middle of a signature and it's something cool. So, how did I do it? Well, sometimes I get a piece of paper because I want to create a new tuck spot and I sit there and I fold it like, like a person who just can't sit there and keep their hands still. So, you know, I, I really like to think of different ways to do different tucks. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I have folded it diagonally down the middle, as you can see there. And then all you do is fold the inside part to create uh, an overlapping area right here. And at that point, right there is where you're gonna put glue of your choice. So then you have these edges over here. Now mine, I chose to cut mine off. So all you have to do is cut these off. I've got one ready to go over here, but I wanted to show you this. You're just gonna cut those off so that you have this middle portion. So hopefully I explained that well, even though it's a little fast. I don't like taking a long time for tutorials if I can tell you quickly. So here we've got one that I've done. I chose uh, an iridescent paper that it's really pretty. Um, and I am doing a flower fairy journal. So I thought it would be kind of cool to use a flower print, a jelly print that PNM had sent to me. And they did this on some tissue paper. Um, then I did a little bit of texture uh, with some impasto that I colored with a little bit of lavender through the same stencil that they used on here because you know I have almost all of their stencils. But um, I just did that for some texture over the edges. So this piece is going to fit in here and that's gonna create our double tuck. So whatever you choose to use for this, um, by all means, you know, use Use your jelly prints. Just make sure it's on something firm. So this, like I said, was on tissue paper and I just backed it with a piece of vellum to kind of keep that translucent quality. So once you've cut this down so it'll fit into this area here, corner or yeah, corner to corner here, then you just take your little circle punch and you make it so you have an easy pull out area on the edge and there it is. At this point, then you can, let's do this real quick so you can see how I did that. Um, you can edge it. So the purple ring one I did, um, I edged this with gold just because it was flashy, you know, because it was for prints, but this is more organic. So I pulled out one of my metallic uh, pens, metallic markers really, and I'm just gonna lay this down and I'm gonna use this as a guide to edge around here. You can use a roller, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm just gonna edge it with my pen. It just finishes it off, I think. Um, and then we'll go around the little curve by hand. That's that's a little more tricky, but you know, just take your time. So you've got that edge there. We'll go ahead and edge this out. I like to do it in slow arcs, so it's kind of natural looking or more even, I should say, not natural. And then 
go along the bottom. Some of the bottom will show, but not all of it, um, because it will be hidden by part of your flap. So I hope everybody's doing well. It's Monday. Um, it is warm here. It is in the upper 70s humid and it is intermittent rain. So kind of like weather that people have you hear all the time in England. It rains a lot. It rains a lot. Well, it's spring here. So this is the time we typically get rain. And you wouldn't believe it, but my two furry kids are not fighting right now. I actually had to put Bella in time out um, when I was trying to help p &M moderate in their live yesterday because the cat was picking on Bella and his name is Thor and he totally lives up to his name, trust me. Um, he kept trying to pull her fur out of her back of her legs while she was standing there which she doesn't even do anything she just she just kind of stands there but anyway I had just vacuumed I was not going to do it a second time the same day so he got to go and time out in my bedroom for a little bit but they're actually being good and she's laying down on the floor right next to me so it's so quiet and I love that all right all right so we've got that all edged out here and you can also edge here, I guess. I'll, I'll do that later, just for intents and purposes to show you the construction. So the only place you're really gonna glue this is right along the bottom and the top because you want the sides to be accessible. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my, um, bust it into my brand new 24 pack of my favorite glue sticks. And these are Scotch Permanent Glue Sticks. Um, I like these when I don't want things to ooze and uh, I want, you know, just a real simple, real simple glue line like this. I mean, typically I like to sew, but in this case, I don't want the seams to be showing on that part. All right. So now I'm going to put this in here, line up my crease that's down the middle. Make sure I kind of get it centered. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. And then we're just gonna put a dab of glue. And you'll see where you wanna put the dab. Hold this guy over too. Just like this. And then we can see where we're gonna do the glue. Now this one I made a little bit smaller than the other one, just because my journaling tags are a little bit smaller. So anyway, I'm not gonna put, I'm only gonna do it, let's see, right to there. Take this out. Well, I just glued that down. That wasn't very smart, was it? Yeah, let's reaffix that. See? Got in a hurry. Okay, go back down. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue here, along here. We just have to have enough to catch it. So it holds. And flop that over like that. And then you're just gonna fold this over again right along your crease but line up your edges everything looks neat now if you get a little piece where maybe you didn't get it quite so even you can always run that little edge right through your paper cutter and trim that off <coughs> sorry I feel like I swallowed a thumbtack Okay, so I don't have my bone folder back here, so I'm just going to use this to do it. 
So that is it. Now you can absolutely decorate the outside, um, front and back, which I am gonna do. Maybe some stencils or something on it. But you see you've got the double tuck here. So that's it. You just attach it in, sew it in if you're going to affix it, or just add ribbons if you just wanna be able to pull it out. Maybe put some pages in here, that might be nice too. But that's pretty much it. Um, very simple, a lot of fun, and I think a really quick way to make a double tuck uh, in the middle of a, of a signature. So anyway, everyone take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.